The Moto Z Play series has always been widely regarded as underrated. And with this year's offering, not only is it receiving a slightly new facelift, but it's also trekking into new territory with its higher price point. Hey guys, John V here with Phone Arena, and this is our review of the Moto Z3 Play. There's definitely a premium quality with its design. It sports a svelte aluminum body, 2.5D Corning Gorilla Glass, and rounded corners. It accommodates all the existing Moto mods, which adds a certain dynamic to the phone's functionality that other phones don't offer. However, there are some subtle changes to design. For example, there's no longer a headphone jack, the fingerprint sensor is now placed on the right side as opposed to below the display, and the power button is now on the left edge. With the fingerprint sensor's new placement though, it's more prone to accidental pressing, which is kind of strange. Not surprisingly, it moves towards that all-screen trendy look, as nearly the entire front of the phone is occupied by the display. It's now rocking a 6-inch 1080 x 2160 max vision display, uses AMOLED technology, and has that 18 by 9 screen aspect ratio. We have very few complaints about the Super AMOLED panel, seeing that details are sufficient, it's visible outdoors under direct sunlight, and it doesn't exhibit any major distortion at various viewing angles. However, its color production seems to skew on the saturated side, but still pleasant looking. It's running Android 8.1 Oreo out of the box and has all the typical Moto experiences. For example, Moto Display and all the other Moto actions. You have things like the chopping motion, you can turn on the LED flash, and then you can also twist the phone to launch the camera. New experiences include Moto Voice, which is another personal digital assistant. It works reasonably well for basic commands, but it's not as comprehensive as Google's own assistant. And there's also the new one-button navigation, which consolidates the typical on-screen Android menu buttons with a single gesture-based one. It does take some time to get used to, but it becomes natural. This year's Moto Z3 Play has been upgraded to a Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 processor coupled with 4GB of RAM. On the surface, it does perform reasonably well. You get the typical amount of fluidness with its response, but it does suffer when it comes to gaming. Especially graphics processing, we notice a choppier performance. So if you're big into gaming, you might want to look elsewhere. In following the trends yet again, it's sporting dual cameras. That's not all too surprising, and it breaks down to one 12 megapixel sensor with 1.4 micron pixels, and then you have another one at 5 megapixels, which is a depth sensing sensor for portrait and bokeh shots. It also integrates Google Lens right into the camera software, so it allows the camera to intelligently detect scenes and provide us with relevant information. It's quite obvious that there's a huge emphasis on providing users with fun shooting modes. Of course, you're going to have the portrait mode there for capturing nice looking portrait shots. And it works pretty well, both front and rear cameras offer it. And then you have the more creative stuff like cinemagraphs, which is a delightful new way of capturing snapshots because it adds motion to still images. After snapping several photos with the Moto Z3 Play, we gotta say it performs impressively well. And we really mean it too. When there's ample lighting in the scene, it captures crisp images with great details and color. Even its HDR mode manages to impress us, as shadows are brightened to match the exposure with the mids and highlights, resulting in an image with superb dynamic range. The only minor blemish we have here are just the softer details with photos taken under low light, which is the only worry we have because there's not as much noise in the image. Over on the video side, the Moto Z3 Play also manages to impress us with its strong performance. If there's one distraction that we have, it has to be that it lacks any kind of stabilization. Besides that, its 4K video quality is rich in details, you have some warm colors and clear audio recording. Its slim chassis is carrying a 3000 mAh battery cell, which is the same as its predecessor, but thankfully the optimizations with the Snapdragon 636 processor and of course the software allows the Z3 Play to easily get through a solid one day of normal usage. It also comes included with the battery mod, which pushes our usage to two days easily. That's obviously comforting, but the overall battery life of the phone is still average in our opinion. Conversely though, it puts up one impressive recharge time, besting its predecessors in the process. Placing phone calls isn't all too challenging since it manages to handle all sorts of situations with no problems. Voices through the earpiece sound distinct enough to discern, including in noisy environments. On the other end of the line, however, our callers mention just a little bit of distortion, as though we sound a little bit distant. Switching over to the speakerphone though is the most challenging part about the entire experience, because it's kinda weak. The Moto Z line has traditionally proven itself as being one of the best in the mid-range category, striking a balance between performance and price. 
with the Moto Z3 Play introduces a few new things into the mix that we haven't seen before in the line, like the 18x9 screen display and dual cameras. We're especially blown away by the camera's performance, which rivals even some of the best flagships out there. What's surprised though is the increase in price that we're getting with the Moto Z3 Play. At $500 for the unlocked version, it's a $100 increase over its predecessors, placing itself in an odd predicament because it's intruding on a threshold. Take the OnePlus 6 for example, which seems like a bargain at $529. Sure, the included battery mod is a nice treat for buyers, but it would have been even better if its price remained similar to its predecessors at the $400 mark. And that is it for a review of the Moto Z3 Play. If you guys want to learn more about it, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. This is John V, signing off.